What are you doing? No! No, what are you doing? Yeah, Betty, what are you doing? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Imagine it's your first time playing Dark Souls Tarnished. You start the game, you spend many hours having fun and discovering all the marvels and secrets that the game's world has to offer. You get to experience the wonders of jolly cooperation. Everything goes smooth until you see this person invade your world. And then this happens. A little bit of both. Oh my god, the spirit of Malcolm Reynolds has invaded. We're being invaded. Is that is that an NPC, guys? Is that an NPC? What the f You get locked out of the gameplay, forcing you to restart the game. And if you're lucky, you get to keep playing. Because what some gamers would experience exactly afterwards is seeing this message pop up on their main menu. Years go by, and you experience the same thing in Dark Souls 3... Unfortunately, that ...and in Elden Ring. Hey Steve, where's your friend? And uh, guys, we found our first hacker. Is that gonna repeat? I think that might repeat. Yeah. With one name being the common denominator between all of these events, Malcolm Reynolds. It was not uncommon in the old days of Dark Souls to see hackers invade your world. If you don't know what an invasion is, it's a mechanic in Souls titles where a random player, by the use of an item, enters your world with the purpose of defeating you. What hackers usually do is give themselves things such as infinite health, insta-kills and griefing things like that. But what this man did was very different. A notorious Souls hacker that has contributed to the moulding of thousands of chosen undead. Bearers of the curse, ashen ones and tarnished all around the world. He has farmed enough salt along the years to set the Titanic afloat once again. From crashing people's computers... What? What? Oh, Son! What the... <laughs> Holy crap! To incredible magic mods to... That's yeah. Fun. We'll just reset. <laughs> That's actually awesome. He goes lol with the, with the spell. Like Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the most infamous troll and hacker of the Souls like community, Malcolm Reynolds. Lucky for you, Tarnished. I actually got in contact with Malcolm Reynolds. Well, hello there, Mr. Malcolm Reynolds. If you don't mind telling me, how did you exactly got the idea to start your little hacking crusade? I was thinking about it, and but I do think I know where I got the idea from. And it was uh, a game called Star Wars Galaxies a long time ago. There was a guy on there. He was super edgy and tryhard, and everyone thought he was a character. Um, his channel's still up. I don't think he's a character anymore because he's still like sticking to that thing. Yeah, like he. I don't think it was. I don't think it's dedication. I think he actually was just that like edgy. But the difference was, I thought back then he was a character. I was like, man, this guy's got it figured out. Like everyone in the game knows who he is, and half of them hate him, and half of them think he's funny. And I was like, I need to do that in in a different game at some point or some shit. When Dark Souls came around, I thought the game was good, and just incidentally I was like, oh, this game doesn't have anti-cheat? I could, like, cheat in it. I mean, I still think Dark Souls 1 is fun, but, like, I wouldn't cheat in it anymore, of course. Malcolm Reynolds created his YouTube account on the 26th of July, 2007, with his name taken probably from the main character of the Firefly franchise. Was your channel name taken from the main character of the Firefly franchise? Yeah, it actually was originally, uh, like a long time ago, but eventually I just thought it sounded good, so I just kept it. His actual first video about Souls games, though, would be uploaded on December 1st, 2013. The title of the video being Dark Souls Autumn Sale 2013. In the video, we would see Malcolm walking around with modded armor to make him look like a big chunky boy, one-shotting unsuspecting newcomers to the game. Although this could already be considered cruel by some internauts, it is not even nearly as brutal as the forbidden acts of Satanism that you're about to witness. After 
After uploading two Dark Souls 2 videos showcasing a common exploit used back in the days, he would upload the first glimpse of the true power of his black magic in the video titled PvP Watchdog is a Good Program, which references an external app for Dark Souls ones that helps prevent being invaded by hackers. Of course, the irony of the title is well expressed in the contents of the video, where we see the P.O. fee of some streamer being turned into an abomination by Malcolm. Malcolm going full Sonic the Hedgehog mode, killing the PvE of some people as an invader, defying the laws of physics and thermodynamics, and a much more noble activity, denying ganks by forcefully killing the boss of the area. It's safe to say that the affected individuals were not very happy about it. The extravaganza continued years later in Dark Souls 3, where Malcolm would surprise the community with very creative yet destructive hacks, such as the annihilating crossbow of doom. Uh, I think uh, Volley Moroni said he wanted to die. He was like, dude, I so wish I was dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yep. The altered animations lockdowns. Okay. The One Punch Man meme. And many more crazy stuff. What is this? I can't see. His shenanigans started to become well known all across the sea of internet, especially because he started to target streamers. In the streams, Malcolm would show up with his prideful craftsmanship, ready to chew ass and kick bubblegum, destroying anything or anyone that dared to cross his path. And I mean that literally. Oosh. Without going into technical details, because I know you have a ton of tutorials on your channel for the more specific technicalities, what program do you use to create all of your hacks? Well, that's that's an easy one because it's all all of it in Dark Souls is cheat engine. There was a really brief period, I guess, where there was another program. And I, I mean, like the Dark Souls connectivity mod can be included as that because you could you could abuse that to like, that's what I used to use for stream sniping people in Dark Souls one. But cheat engine is like the only real good way to do it. There are, there's other programs since you can you know, update what you're using and, you know, execute stuff on the fly and change scripts and Lua is easy to read and assembly is pretty easy to use with Cheat Engine because of the functions that Cheat Engine comes with and stuff like that. So it's, it's like overall like the best tool for that game since there's no anti-cheat, no like debugger detection or anything like that. So you can just open up Cheat Engine and use it. And I mean, that's kind of the case for most games is... Posts were being created about the guy, depicting him as a malicious evil demon seeking only to ruin the life of innocent gamers and warning the community, advising them to disconnect at the mere sight of him. But one specific word would stand out among the rest and that would be the word soft ban. A soft ban in Dark Souls 3, for example, would be a state that your account would be put into if the support teams of the game detected that you were doing illicit activities in your account. While soft banned, your online activities would be restricted by matching you with other offenders. It would lock you up in a server where all the hackers and cheaters would be. To put it simply, you could not play with honest gamers. Up to this point, the actions of Malcolm brought no real consequences nor harm to those affected by them. Despite using hacks to do nasty things to innocent gamers, at the end of the day, these were harmless scripts used only to create really cool looking effects that would just kill the gamers affected, maybe lock their game until restart, but that was it. However, according to some Redditor entities, on one faithful day, Malcolm was using a hacked dagger to give souls and other illegal goodies to the unlucky bastards that crossed his path. Sadly, according to Malcolm, this stream was lost to time, but basically what would happen is that when hit with the infamous dagger, the gamers would gain souls, turn into dragon form and be teleported to Firelink Shrine. Gamers supposedly reported soft bans afterwards. Things certainly didn't get any better when Malcolm made a stream named, well, uh, soft banning in Dark Souls 3. Uh, with both him and his chat claiming that it was all to make FromSoft fix the anti-cheat system, so it was a good cause in their eyes. What they are is this. 
I'm dropping point down gesture essentially. If you use it, it's, it just does this. You can't get rid of it, you can't use it, you can't do anything with it, it doesn't do anything. You can only pick up one. The rest just refuse, but once you have it, you can't get rid of it. You can always reload, or uh, back up your save if you have one. Like a load of backup, but um, he's got that now. He's got that for good. Okay, let's, let's slam dunk. These items, once picked up, were unremovable from your inventory and would trigger the anti-cheat system, so the FromSoft police would arrest you on the spot. As far as we know, some gamers reported being soft banned because of this. And of course, the frenzy of molding didn't stop there. He made the exact same thing when Dark Souls Remaster came out, with amazingly modded pyromancies with some, uh, well, interesting effects. You know what? You know what? I just remembered something. Remembered something vital just now. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Hell no. Easy. Okay, what just happened there? My, uh... He also did a second part with the same shenanigans. Just noticed. This changes everything. But the stream was abruptly interrupted due to his channel getting a strike. What happened is that one of this videos got mass reported by the community, which ended the stream, apparently. We don't know if anyone got soft banned because of this, but people were really starting to get fed up. When Elden Ring came around, as we all know, it had the biggest hype in gaming history. Every streamer was playing the game, too. So, naturally, Malcolm took the opportunity to pay them a visit and show off his mumbo-jumbo. The results were outright hilarious. Hey, where are you? Oh! Hey! What the f*** was that? This is a hacker! This is a hacker! This is a hacker! This is a hacker! He's blowing up the... Quick and leave! Quick! Quick, get out! I have to leave! I gotta leave! He's gonna crash my computer! He's gonna crash my computer! I gotta go! Okay. No, oh, good job. I'm just kidding. Everybody get out! Everybody get out! Quick! Leave! Run! Run, run as fast as you can, get on Alt F4, Alt, leave, 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 everybody Alt F4, quick! I don't, how do I do it? How do I Alt F4? Alt F4! Come up. Let's just go directly to the boss. Okay. Let me, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, let me get my thing. Throwing dagger, okay, good. Go ahead! Uh-uh, nope, I'm out. F4, hold F4. Alt F4? Okay. We got invaded by a hacker. We actually got... Dude, my fucking here. file got corrupted. Wait, really? Yeah. No way. Yep. I don't believe you. There's no shot. Li yep. li literally 0% shot. Okay, I am lying, but that has happened before. What is that? What is that? It's a hacker, bro. Leave. Alt it for your game. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. What is that, my IP? <laughs> no, no, no. He can, like, he can, um. They can Quack. soft lock your character. Oh, there he is! Maybe. Apparently, it's not him. Oh. No. It might be him. Yeah. <laughs> it might be him. Is that Michael Jackson? Or someone else? Uh oh. oh here, here it comes. Uh oh. oh. Wait, he spawned it on us. No, there. He's. He's. Don't look up. You can say we have to kill. This is our one chance to kill. You said that at like the worst time. <laughs> and Malcolm was also the perpetrator of what I consider to be the best deed anyone has ever done for the Souls community. 
The time when he robbed AFK farmers out of their crusty, badly earned runes. Thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you are. But, sadly, as the tradition stated by this point, with a new game on the venue, the soft banning galore had to continue. Malcolm uploaded a video called Soft Banning in Elden Ring, where he would drop his crimson shower all over unsuspecting tarnished, completely obliterating them off the face of Earth. But this time, something was different. In the description of the video, we see that Malcolm left a message for the viewers, which says the following. Yeah, this joke is kind of boring to me now. And people keep asking me how to do it so they can ban people themselves. So just a reminder to all you Redditors and tourists that this isn't real. Near the start of DS3 release, I did a stream called Soft Banning in DS3 that blew up with a Kotaku article that was fake. In Dark Souls 1 Remastered, I did a stream called Soft Banning in DS1R that blew up with an article where I also said random things to an interviewer. I've essentially made this claim each game to make people seethe or freak out over nothing, showing how angry people can get without real information, yet still threaten to dox or murder me in real life over a video game. Obviously this isn't possible to do via a laser beam, but something as theatrical looking as this, paired with a ridiculous claim and a gullible game journalist, will make hundreds of thousands of people believe whatever I want them to. And it's really funny. Also, claiming it was for a good cause was just to grief people more. But well, you can't do this to me. You know how much I sacrificed?! So... According to this description, the soft banning was never real. The Kotaku article he's alluding to was talked about in another video that Malcolm uploaded, where he basically fed stupid fake facts and Dark Knight Rises quotes to a Kotaku writer. What the f*** were you thinking? Dr. Pavel here! This video because it absolutely no one cared who I was till I put on the mask. No, you're not this fucking evil. I'm necessary evil. Was getting caught part of your plan? If I pull that off, will you die? I have to go move on. Okay, so they really want you to know. He did his place, okay? Tell me about it! Dr. Pablo, why does he wear the mask? You weren't thinking. Nothing. I said nothing. Because you were totally out of line, okay? You're a big guy. For you. What the f***? Were you thinking through your No choice for me. The fire rises. This great city! It will endure! Oh, you guys get all the soft Dr. Leonard Pavel. Nuclear physicist. Is your idiot brain getting f***ed by stupid? Yes. Kotaku writers were not the sharpest tools in the shed. However, no matter how much BS this was, the comments and barrage of cancer thrown at Malcolm was very real. While some admired and recognised the polishing of his craft over the years, other rabid orcs wanted him basically dead. So, I suppose we both know how the softbank claim made people foam, raise torches and pump their fists in the air. Was there ever any type of true to these claims? Was anyone ever really softbanned? Okay, I'm going to give you the actual true true to god god answer right yes but only for like one week was it possible because every other instance where i've like posted about it that's all bull there was one week maybe a m like two weeks in dark souls 3 where you could inject an item into their inventory and that was it that was the only time picking up items from other players in Dark Souls 3. Well, no, um, you you couldn't get banned from that. If people always said you could, you could not get banned from that. It was not something that happened. If it was like picked up and it was like plus plus 47, 
you know, Storm Ruler or whatever. If you picked that up, that would not ban you. If you picked up Toast, that would not ban you either. But if it got put in your inventory, the packet that sends that is basically telling the other client that they picked it up. And the client just says, yup, I must have done that. And then it picks it up, um, which is why you could like just fill an inventory of and then they would get banned for that. That's the week that that was possible. The fifth one I did, uh, Stream Sniper Extraordinaire 5. That one was real. But the every other instance, that was not the case. Whether you like him or not, you got to admit that his work was really outstanding. The amount of sheer creativity and effort put into his craft was second to none. So much so that the mere term of hacking in the Souls community is directly associated with him. And the real reason of why he actually did it, well, it's much less romantic than you think. Well, since it doesn't actually happen any of the times that I've claimed it happened, that's just for stirring sh That's just to get people going. What? I guess you could say it was just good old trolling at its finest. Regardless if I were to express my personal opinion on the matter, I'd say that his powers could have been used for good a bit more. Even if Malcolm didn't actually soft ban anyone, for the most part, the way he approached the use of his craft was clearly way more inclined towards the mischievous side. Some hackers used to put up an interesting show with their skills, and they were always a nice, welcomed part of online activity. <laughs> <laughs> Noob. <laughs> Noob Pyromancer. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but sadly, Malcolm chose to use his powers to grief people and intentionally stain his reputation while at it. He has since stopped hacking and griefing because the updated Elden Ring anti-cheat system doesn't let him do any of the cool stuff he could pull off before, so he doesn't really see any reason to do it. But who knows? Maybe someday he will be back to entertain us once again with his wacky hacking shenanigans. Ah, uh, thanks for watching, Tarnished. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, a comment, and share it with friends. Consider subscribing for more content like this. Until next time, Tarnished, I'll be watching you. Remember to wash your face and brush your teeth in the morning.